Hi there, my name is Malcolm Wilkinson and welcome to Millennial Meals, a place where we show you how to make some delicious meals and treats right in your own home. So on this episode, which is filmed right after the crock pot for rice and beans, we're going to be showing you how to make some crawfish stock. Let's get boiling. So for equipment, you're going to want to have a bowl, a deep metal pot or maybe like a stock pot, a strainer to filter out our juices in the end, and a stove top to heat up our pot. So let's just say you came back from a nice crawfish boil and you have a whole bunch of leftover crawdads. Well, obviously you want to take off the tails and eat those delicious buggers. But what I'm going to tell you is that when you take the tail off, you don't have to necessarily just throw away the shell. What you can do after is you can just throw it into the pan along with some of the other shells and basically boil those shells and make a stock bowl. So what I'm also going to show you though is that when it comes to crawfish, when, um, like when you get them boiled or you go to like someplace, you don't want one that has a tail that's straight out. What that means is that this little sucker was dead before he got thrown inside the boiling pot. So you do not want to eat those because you can probably get sick from that. So what you basically want is you want a tail that's curled. With that said, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking off the tail on some of these crawdads and then throwing them in my pot so then basically I can make my stock. Once your shells are all processed and thrown inside your pot, we're going to add the water. So in this case, uh, you want to probably about one inch of water above the shells. So basically what we want to have happen here is that we want to cook our crawfish to a boil. Then after one hits a boil, we're going to lower down our setting to a simmer. We're going to let it cook for about six to eight hours. And after that, we'll have some delicious stock that we can use for some other meals. With that said, I'll see you guys in about six to eight hours. So it looks like that's all the crawfish stock that I'm going to get out of this batch. So the reason why I use a strainer is because there's some like little food particles and other stuff in there that we do not want in the stock because that's not going to basically make it fun for us to eat later. But when you have this crawfish stock, like depending upon how it was seasoned before, it just adds a whole different layer of flavor when it comes to the dishes you make with it. With that said, this is how you make crawfish stock. Y'all stay safe. Have a good one.